Firstly, go to Effects, Titles and other text plus overview video footage. Highlight it and go to the inspector. Delete everything in the text box, right click and select time code. That's gonna create you the most basic timer. By default it's on 5 seconds, if you wanna extend it just pull it to the right. And then on the inspector there is a field which it says right on. You can remove any digits that you're not needing from this timer. Then right click and create new compound clip. Then right click on this compound clip and select change clip speed and select the box reverse speed. And as I'm playing you can see that this timer is now becoming a countdown. Further adjustments is you can select the transform and move it as you wish. Also in the inspector you can increase and decrease the zoom value. And don't forget that at the end of this video I'll pick the winner from the previous one who is gonna win $10. If you wanna win also leave a comment under this video. Cool! Now second and more advanced method of making the countdown. Again get a text plus title. Inside the text box I'm writing the numbers. One on every reel starting from lowest to highest. Right now you can see what I have. Forgot to mention you can change the color, size and the font of your liking. Then go on settings and you want to go to the corping area. You want to corp it from the bottom and to the top until you see just one number. For easy following you can select the transform icon which is right here. Finish your corping until you see only one number. And when you're done corping it you can grab it and leave it on the place of your liking. Next select titles. Then select layout. And we are gonna work with center white. We are gonna create some keyframes that are gonna be looking something like this, like the numbers are dropping from the top, like a countdown, because that's the effect that we want to achieve with this short animation. Now reposition the numbers of your liking and create the first keyframe. So far so good. Now move 20 frames forward in the timeline and create another keyframe. Then move 4 frames forward and change the values of center y until you see in the center the next number. In my case it's number 4. That will automatically create your next keyframe. So you just need to move 20 frames and click it once again. Then again move 4 frames forward and change the values of y until you see the next number. Then you can repeat the process for the rest of your numbers just by using the same technique. And if you did everything correctly you should be having something like this. Now I'm gonna pick the winner from the last video. And that is John Pa, which says most underrated channel, definitely it will be big in the future. I appreciate your comment, I hope you're right. Write me an email to find out how you can get your money. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.